Welcome back. We've been kind of on a roll here. Sculpting this little baby dragon out of the air dry clay. So I've been feeling pretty good. Had some rough times when I first started, but I think it's going all right. Today I'm going to try to do the wings and I'm really not sure how it's going to go. So hopefully we can figure out a way that they can actually be up without, you know, collapsing and falling apart because that would be terrible. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can figure it out. So at this point, um, I had saved some of my extra clay specifically for the wings. So I'm going to take this out and we're going to see what we can do. So I'm thinking if I can finish the wings this time, then I can go back and add the detailing, like the face and stuff. And then we'll be done and then we can let it dry and then mess with painting it, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we got to figure out the wings this time. The trick here is going to be, again, let's switch back to this view, I guess. I want the wings to stand up off this a little bit, but they really can't be huge or again, the weight, it's, it's not going to support itself. So that's going to be the trick is trying to find that balancing act where they can be up without falling apart. So what I'm going to start with is by taking this clay and basically making like a little slab out of it. And let's see, I might need to move this whole guy over a little bit. You know what? That's why it's on a thing. I'm not going to move it because it's going to fall apart if I move it. So let's take this whole thing, put it over here and let's figure out the wings. So I'm going to start with a slab of clay, which is just kind of like a little cookie, if you will. It's not totally flat. And again, nothing totally flat is going to work very well with clay, whether it's real clay or air dry clay. And I'm going to try to make two of these about the same so we can have a left wing and a right wing, even though they're basically going to be in the middle. We'll see. So how thick, about that thick looks good. Okay. So something like that should do. Let's guy back up and see. You know what? I wonder if that'll, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I have nowhere to put this. Let's put it right here. It'll be fine, right? Don't move. All right. So you remember the wing part at the top was just kind of like a square little fin. So what I'm about to do is cut like a little shape that I feel like will fit into that a little bit. So maybe something like this for that side. And Maybe I'll just flip that over for the other side. So my concern is that this is still like, that's pretty heavy. And I just don't know if it's going to hold itself up. So let's see if we can get the basic shape. If we can get the basic shape, then we can see about actually making it look like a wing. We've got to figure out, will it actually hold itself up? All right. So if I put this guy like here-ish. That looks okay. And the goal, even though they're going to be mainly centered, I'm going to see if I can have one kind of curving a little bit one way and one curving a little bit the other way. Uh, just from the weight, I can tell. I don't know how this is going to go. I have a bad feeling. I, I have a bad feeling about it, but we're going to try it. Just gonna push that down and smush it and stick it. I guess while I'm doing this, I'll try to do them both simultaneously. Take this one and push it and smush it and stick it. Again, it's hard to see from the top. So let's do one of these. Right now, that's what we've got. <laughs> And again, I'm really not sure about their, yeah, they're starting to tilt and bend and, oh me. All right, so we need to start blending those in and then 
we can go back and cut away the shapes we really want out of it or add little points. Unfortunately, this is very hard to show from the top view. That's what it looks like from the top right now. So you can see the two wings are kind of split apart. Which is what we want. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do. We're going to try to actually connect them. I don't want to get my clay ultra wet right now because I feel like the wetter the clay is, the weaker the clay is. So we have to connect it without it getting super, super wet. And then once we feel like it's connected enough, we can see about getting the shape more like we need it to be. Okay. Yeah, I do, I do not like the way the clay is acting because it's acting like it can't really support this weight. I'm trying. I'm trying. What I originally thought is maybe I'd just make the wings like down around the body, but then that would cover up most of what I've already sculpted. And then you see less of the detail. So I didn't want to do that unless I had to. And again, we'll see. We might end up ripping these wings right off and doing it a different way. I hope we can find something that works. Let's go ahead right down the middle of that. Oops, my uh, dragon's moving the camera here. Go ahead right down the middle of this and try to smooth those together so they understand that <laughs> that they belong there and they stick. Mm -hmm. Okay, that seemed to go all right. Again, my problem with smoothing anything really on the wings out is is that I feel like the the wetter it is, it's just I know it's gonna it's gonna lose its structural integrity and it's gonna fall apart. And after working on this for this long, I believe it or not, I'd actually like for it not to fall apart. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> for it to, you know, stay together. That'd be great. That'd be great. All right, let's do another where are we at. So you can kind of see it from the top view. Let's do. Right? So like it's it's wing-ish shaped. So far it's not falling apart. Now, am I really going to be able to get sharp points on the edges of them? Let's find out. So I want some like hooks on the top part. So maybe I can add those in. And then, uh, hey, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Let's see if I can smooth this out a little bit without it getting uh, totally fall apart-y. A little fall apart -y, I think, is okay. Totally fall apart -y. It's not going to work out for anybody. All right, so yeah, we're gonna give some little hooks kind of up right behind the head. So let's go ahead and sculpt those. Again, I don't think you're gonna be, be able to make anything like super ultra pointy with this clay, but hopefully we can at least get that basic shape. I'm thinking if we can get the wings working where they're not falling apart, then all that's really left to do is go back and add like the horns, the eyes, maybe some little spikies. But other than that, it's mainly the wings we're trying to get right now. 
Yeah, right? Give me a minute, I'll show you what I just did. All right. So we've got these little like coils. Again, I don't think we're gonna be able to make them super pointy, but just slightly curved like that, top view, side view. And we're gonna add them as like kind of the the front part of the wing, I guess. Not to be confused with horns. Where they are, they look a little bit like horns. But they're not. Don't be fooled. Okay. So those are on. Can we get those smoothed out and actually attached? Or is that going to make the whole thing too wet? Here, let's do another one of these guys. See? Yeah. So that's like a, looks a little bit like horns, but it's like the front part of the wing. I'm going to try to smooth them out and see where we're at. And if that works, then we can uh, move forward with the other shapes in the way. Again, the challenge is you need water to smooth, but too wet equals bad things. So it's a balancing act. Finding the right amount of water that's not too much water. Ooh, that feels like too much water. That doesn't feel good. That feels floppy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Yep, they're starting to crack, they're starting to fall apart. No, 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 no. Go back together, I command you. We're not gonna fall apart now. We've come too far, we've done too much work. We are not about to start falling apart right now. Sorry, unacceptable. You don't get to do that right now. Maybe later. Probably not later. That wouldn't be good either. Also, I'm not sure. I feel like maybe it does need to dry a little bit once I get done with the wings. I haven't really been, uh, to be honest, letting it sit here and dry very much at all. And that might... That might be necessary. That definitely could be a thing. Almost there. Yep, I think the wings, they're heavy. It's kind of a problem, it's kind of a thing. It's kind of not good. Probably should have made them folded down by the sides. The neck is like bending forward now compared to what it was as well because of the weight of the wings. Mm. I'm worried. I'm worried. I think this whole thing might be about to go south. I think this whole thing might be about to go south. You can do it. All I gotta do is hold together. How hard is that? 
You're good. You got this. You got this, little dragon. You got this. Maybe I can, like, pin the wings back. That's what I need to do. I'm going to push in. The clay is massively cracking right here. All right, we're going to push in and smooth out and hope that really gets that to stick because I think if they pin back together, they're less likely to fall apart sideways. Yes. Yes. All right. And at this point, I have some massive cracks going on. The only thing I super know to do about that is try to fill them with a little more clay, which I did on the Goomba. And I was shocked to find out that it kind of worked. So hopefully I'll be just as lucky here. I really assumed that that process of just putting more clay in the crack wouldn't work. It would just crack again. But on the Goomba, it worked pretty good. This is why we test things out before we, uh, you know, go full on with them. Of course, it probably won't work if you do it really terrible like that. All right. All right, give me a minute. I'll show you where we're at. Give me just a minute, and I'll show you where. Give me just a minute and I'll show you where we're at. Don't know if y'all heard about that. Okay. Get the horns to stick. They're not horns, they're little pokies on the start of the wing okay let me show you where we're at right again you can see some pretty bad cracking going on i've been trying to fix that so here's where i'm at i mean they're basically wing shaped they're a little too round to suit me. Like a dragon's wings ought to be pointier than that. But I really don't know if that's something I'm going to be able to get. And I'm a little scared that if I try to get it, they're just going to fall apart. So I could try, like, for lack of a better word, cutting them, removing clay to make them pointier. Um, I definitely don't feel like that's a good idea. I could try adding little spikes to make them pointier. I don't really feel like that's a good idea either, but I feel like it's a better idea than trying to cut them or remove clay to make them points. So that might be the winner. And by winner, I mean the thing that destroys my wings. Maybe we could just add one little guy right here and one at the bottom. Would that work? All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's really hard to show sculpture on a 2D camera. So maybe I could add like a little, little point here and then like another little point there and we'd be good. I don't know. Also, you envision like dragons as like having those kind of veins, kind of like bat arms, like I said. So maybe I could add like one here. Hmm. This is tricky. We're so close. If I can figure out the wings, all I gotta do is like add the face and maybe some spikes and I'm good. All right. What do we do? What do we do? All right, so I'm gonna make some coils. That'll be like those little veins. No. I'll show you what I mean. Again, it's hard to see from the top view. I I don't I don't really like the way this looks, but this will at least kind of show you what I'm talking about. 
So something like that, right? And then I need to add one there and maybe one more. But the wing is so thick that that doesn't quite look right. <sighs> Getting a little frustrated again. Getting a little frustrated again. Just a little bit. Right? If you're not getting a little frustrated, you're probably not doing something right. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be frustrating. Well, no. What? No. Not supposed to be frustrating, but also, again, you know, anytime you're learning something new, and this is all new stuff I'm trying with this material, anytime you're learning something new, there's going to be a little bit of frustration involved. So, here's what I've got. Making little spiky coil things. We're going to try to attach them and then maybe see if we can get the wings to take on more of a dragon-y shape. Man, if I was trying to make, like, bird wings, that'd be pretty sad right now. For bird wings, they look pretty good. But that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay. So we got some little spikies. I need some more clay to make, oh no, to make the first little spiky part. And this is all the clay I've got left. I'm in my reserve clay at this point. So at some point we're going to have to be done just because we run out of clay. All right. So again, I'm going to try to attach these little coils I'm making here to the side of the wing and then maybe see if I can manipulate the outer edge of it somehow to look more like what it ought to look like. And I don't know what the answer to that is. All right, so that'll be like the front little arm part. So I'll show you what I'm talking about with that. The front little arm part, right? So I'm going to smooth that out so it actually like connects to those little spiky top parts. Or hopefully I'm going to do that. All right. Next, we've got the long one. Let's try that out. This is going to be the weird one. Uh, I do not feel good about this, people. I do not feel good about this at all. All right, let me show you. Whoa, you switched the wrong way. Right? So we've got that. And then we're going to try one more for the end, I guess, and see what we can do. There's just so much clay in the wings. And again, they need that amount of clay to support themselves. So I can't like make them thinner, but of course, the thicker and heavier they are, the worse they're going to work. What you call a catch 22. There's no good way of doing it. All right. So at this point, we're really going to do some kind of heavy duty pushing and sculpting and changing the shape of things. And we're going to hope it doesn't totally ruin everything. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. 
And then we'll have to do some pretty heavy duty smoothing too, which is supremely worrying because <laughs> the wetter it is, the less structural integrity it is. My clay is cracking up like mad. Cracking up horribly. Yep. All right, we're right back to frustration, people. This is not going well. Not going well at all. Not going well. I got clay cracking. So we've got the basic forms. I'm gonna try to see if I can make them a little spikier maybe. I don't know, this is not going well. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna take a break before I get too frustrated. I'm gonna take a break, go wash my hands, come back in like three minutes. Okay. We're back. Let's figure this thing out. Everything is figure outable, right? So that's what we got. Not going great. Is there a way I can like show this at a better angle? This is just, can I make the camera stay this way? Isn't that a such, such a better angle to see? I don't think I can make the camera hold there though. Can I? All right, yeah, that shows it a little bit better. That shows it a little bit. That's the best I can do, folks. All right, so as you can see, this is a mess. It's cracking up. It's not in the right form. We need to start smoothing out things. I'm concerned about smoothing them because smoothing them is going to make it weaker. We've just got to do it now. we got to just start getting things the way we want them to look. So this guy right here needs to be like a point. So do I need to add more clay? I probably need to add more clay to make that guy a point. That's what we're gonna do. Something like this. Okay. All right. Let's we'll start some, some legit smoothing here. Lots of water on my tool. That's the scary part, but you got to do it. There's no other choice. There's no other choice. So this is going to come right up to here to where our little point is. Let's smooth this guy out. Again, you can see like right here, the clay is separating because it's drying. And when you add water to dry clay, well, that's what you get. That's what you get. Well, we were able to get kind of a little spike here, so that's good. And again, I, I, I really think part of this might just need to sit and dry a bit, um, you know, before it's ready to be messed with. Okay. So there's something. I really, there's not a good way to show you this. I'm trying, folks. <laughs> All right. Let's get under here. Gonna smooth that guy out. To there. We're going to make this kind of pointy, roundish shaped. This is as good as we can without it breaking off. That looks a little better. I mean, a little bit. Okay. Next, down to the third part. Remember when things were going awesome, when we made the body and the head? Those were the days, weren't they? <sighs> if only, if only we were, <laughs> if only we were back in those days. I know what you mean, like what, 30, 30 minutes ago? Let's fill in this. Maybe this will make me feel better. Let's make this look like one big piece. 
And the best part is, even if I get this wing looking right, you guys know what's next. The second wing. Trying to make the magic happen twice. Alright. You know what? It's at least wing shaped. So there's that. And the wings aren't like totally flat against the uh, body. So that's cool. That's a plus. We did that thing we were trying to do. Maybe need to get a little extra spike down there. And then I think we might call it good on this one. Just because I don't know really what else. What else I can do. See, this side has the advantage of the tail to work with. Because it can the wing's almost resting on the tail a little bit. There's a little extra bit that frankly should not be there that you can't see on the camera, but I'm trying to fix it right now. That does not look good. Okay. <sighs> Let's see how that looks. I would like the curve, because the curve's going this way, I'd like it to be more so it's connecting almost like a webbing. I just, um, I've tried a couple things, it just doesn't seem to be working too good. Maybe I can go back and get that at the end. Well, let's at least get the other side looking like anything. <laughs> let's get the other side looking like anything first. How about that? Once it looks like something, then we can figure out exactly how to make it look the way we want. But it should probably look like something first. So right now I feel like this side looks like nothing. Yeah, this is going to take some work. Well, we are right back into being discouraged. And this is when this is when you go, hey, remember that whole just keep swimming thing like you just said? Just keep, just keep swimming, man. That's all you got to do. And you're like, ah, eh, this is not going well. <laughs> How are you supposed to just keep swimming when it's not going so well? But you... Sometimes you have to remember that when things are going good, whatever wisdom you found, you just got to believe it. You go, well, I don't feel that way anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you don't feel that way anymore, but just trust that when you said it the first time, you were right. Right? <laughs> There's that faith again. Just, just, just trust that the first time you said it, like you sounded really sure of yourself, right? Yeah, I think you were right the first time, even though right now I feel like maybe not. Of course, let's put some clay in there. Make that more like one piece instead of three tiny pieces. You can see how wet this clay is getting. It's not super conducive to, well, to many things, if we're being honest. You can see how bad that looks on the back of that. We need to fix that. Again, we're just laying pieces out. We're laying like, we're doing the, the broad strokes here. All right. Actually, I'm not, I'm not that dissatisfied with that. Let's see if we can get a little point down here and then maybe see about getting some like webbing webbing the flaps what do you call the, the like the skin pieces in between the branches of the wing no clue what you call that no clue no earthly idea let's get a little point down at our bottom blend that guy in 
suddenly it doesn't look like a point anymore. You're doing all right. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's got to start somewhere. Actually, you know what? As long as this thing holds together, like the, you can see, you can see the basic shapes, right? They're there. So as long as it holds together, I think we're going to be okay. It's just about getting it. I'm going to need to give this some time to dry, I think, before I super start working on my other little details. Let's see if I can add a little tiny bit more clay like in here to make those look kind of flappy. And then I probably want to add a little bit of clay like here and here, maybe there and there, to make those look like those little branches or fingers, whatever you want to call them. We'll see about that. So that's going to go there. Mm-hmm. We just have to kind of accept that right now, as we kind of block in the pieces, it's going to look terrible. I've been watching a lot of like painters on YouTube recently, like guys who are doing like really realistic painting, which is not something I enjoy. If you know me very well, I don't enjoy doing it, but I've been watching a lot of YouTubers do it. And it's really interesting their process because they talk about like, there's always that point where like you, you just hate it. You hate your painting. You think it looks terrible, but you have to go through that point because if you don't go through that point, like you never get the colors on the canvas. Like if you just want it to look like a finished painting, it will never look like a finished painting because you have to go through each step of the process. And I feel like that's what's going on with these wings right now. Like I just kind of, I'm sitting here going, I just want them to look like wings and not garbage. <laughs> Maybe they have to look like garbage for a second before they can look like wings. Maybe I have to put these pieces in. Or maybe they'll just look like garbage forever. <laughs> Hope not. Hope not. But they certainly are gonna have to look like it for a minute because that's what they look like right now is hot garbage. Okay, so we've got those outside pieces. And at this point, let's try to add the, the little webbing flappy something, whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to press that down and smooth it out like that. We're just going to press this down and smooth it. This is going to take a lot of work, a lot of smoothing, a lot of changing shapes. We knew from the get-go the wings were going to be the hardest part. We knew it. We said it. We were ready. We knew it. And lo and behold, the wings are the hardest part. Just like we knew. We're so smart. We knew it all along. Okay, so I'm going to put some of that underneath here too. Just a little ball of clay. And then we'll see what we can do about smoothing it out. A ball of clay. A ball of clay. And then maybe we can get to a point where we can smooth this without it, um, really without it being super wet. Because I think if this gets super wet, we're going to have problems. It's already cracking right here. Sorry. I'm, I'm doing my best to, it's really hard to show 3D art on a little 2D camera. So we added that little guy right there to support the wings. Is that a little... Little guy right there, and then we're gonna have to go back and like you know smooth all this out, smooth all this out. I think we need a little more, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. And a little more. <laughs> this looks so bad. Uh, ups and downs, people. Creating art has ups and downs, just like real life. Just like day to day. All right. I think we have clay where we need clay. 
So we just gotta figure out how to make this look um, not like a complete hot mess. All right, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and try to smooth out like this wing right here. If I can get this one half decent, I'm gonna end this video there. Cause it's been a minute. And then I'll just do the other one on my own time. Cause that makes a difference too. Doing everything on camera, it's like, Kind of a lot of pressure sometimes. <laughs> All right. Little by little, little by little. Just again, we're focusing on this one flap right here. Little by little, I feel like it's starting to look like something instead of nothing or instead of trash. <laughs> little by little. Okay. Well, that's all we can do, isn't it? Just a little bit at a time. Okay. All right, so at this point, that is way too wet. So I cannot really add any more water to that. All I can do is smooth it out. Which is, you know, fine, because that's really all I need to do is smooth that out. You know what? That's kind of okay. We check from this view, not so okay. So let's Fix that up a bit. Mm -hmm. Gotta remember again if your finger fits, your finger is the best tool for the job if it fits. Also at this point, the wings are so wet compared to the body, which is I'm sure getting pretty dry, that uh, I'm sure we're gonna have some cracking we don't want. Okay. It's not 100%, but I'd say looks looks a little bit like something, a little less like nothing. Okay. <laughs> So let's do a comparison. Here's the side I wasn't working on yet. Not great. Here's the side I just made. A little better. Yes, I, I a little, a little. <laughs> we gotta take what we can get. We're gonna keep trying to make it a little better. 
So there you go. So hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> Next time I see you, we can put the finishing touches on, which will just be like maybe some little horn. Then again, it's a baby. I was talking about if it's a baby, would it have really big horns? Maybe it'll have little horn nubbins, some eyes, a couple little spikes here and there. Hopefully we can finish this next time, but I got a lot of work to do because I got to make that wing look like this wing. And then I got to make this wing look um, better. So... I'm going to work on that. Hopefully we can finish this dragon next time I see you. I uh, hope you guys are doing great, having good days, staying busy. You know what I mean. <laughs> we all got to stay busy and, and make things. So hopefully you're working on something and uh, doing all right. We'll see you guys next time.